Here's something worth spreading. Butter is back. This one is from Vermont. Food writer Elaine Kosrova is a bona fide butter lover. I would just like to point out that about 50% of what's going on in your refrigerator is butter. Yes. <laughs> How long have humans been eating butter? Thousands and thousands of years. It's a rich history, Kosrova writes in her new book. Cheesecloth allows you to gather it. Just talking about butter gets her all melty. You can cream it, you can whip it, you can layer it, and then still it comes to the table sort of naked by itself, and it's delicious there, too. Last year, the average American ate more than 22 sticks of butter. Holy cow. Thank you. But for decades... I switched from butter to imperial margarine. Margarine stole the show. Sure tastes like butter. Then came news of unhealthy trans fats in some margarines. Eating margarine rather than butter may not be as heart smart as we thought. And we were suddenly back to the basics of butter. It's so elemental. It just tastes so good. Still, at 800 calories a stick, being a heavy butter user could make you a heavy butter user. Right now, the USDA guidelines mm. discourage against eating too much saturated fat, mm. including butter. I mean, it's not like you sit down to a stick or a half a stick of butter. You know, you have a tablespoon here or there. And even in moderation, one thing is certain. Butter makes everything better. <laughs> <laughs> then you want a good tablespoon of butter. Somewhere, Julia Child is smiling.